What's up guys, this is Danny Matranga with Mind Pump TV and today I'm gonna take you guys through one of my absolute favorite lower body warmups. It's quick, it's easy, it's not gonna take up too much of your time because I know you wanna lift, but it's gonna have you feeling better at the bottom of your squat, more explosive in your deadlift and keep you safer and training longer. Let's get into it. So the first movement today for this leg day warmup is gonna be the cat camel. It preps the core, specifically the transverse abdominis and this will help protect your spine and hips. How you perform the cat camel is pretty simple. It's all about the breathing, right? We want to make sure that our hands are about right underneath our shoulder blades. We want to make sure that our knees are in position underneath our hips. From here, I want you to take a deep inhale in, trying to bring your belly button as high up as you can, trying to touch your spine with your belly button. Then exhale out. Get a full depression. Let your body fall down forward. Make a nice valley in your back. Right back up, make a hill, make a valley. So not only does this get the core prep, it also gets the spine moving a little bit, which will help you feel more fluid when you're doing things like your squats and your deads. I recommend about 12 reps here before moving on to the next exercise. The second movement in this warm up is from the quadruped position again, so it's nice and quick. It's just simple rotations of the femur in the hip, right? So we're just gonna take our leg and roll it around to open up your hips, get you ready to squat. So from this position, we just take the leg up, out, around, and down. I'll do 10 repetitions this way, 10 repetitions this way, switching legs, making sure I hit both sides. And this again, get your hips nice and loose so you can drop down into your squat at the most comfortable depth. So now that we've taken care of the spine, right, the core, the lower back, we've taken care of the hips, the next thing we wanna make sure to do is get our glutes turned on and maybe even stretch our hip flexors a little bit. So the third exercise is a hip extension into overhead reach, which not only cues the glutes to fire, it'll also help kind of stretch out any hip flexor tightness you might have. So you sit back on your heels and hip flexion, get your hands in front of you. Extend forward, squeeze the glutes, and reach up overhead to stretch the hip flexors, right? Your hip flexors attach at both the hip and kind of up in your lower back area. So going back and forward like this, not only cues the glutes, it'll also loosen these guys up a lot. So if you kind of feel tight in your squat, this is a great one to throw in there. I recommend about 12 reps here. Again, back, squeeze the glutes, and get the full overhead reach. The last exercise for this leg day warm up is a lateral band walk. This is to kind of wake up the gluteus medius and minimus as well as fire up the abductors. It's a very simple movement. We're gonna do it for 60 seconds. What we wanna do is unlock the knees, get the hands on the hips and step left and right, not allowing the feet to come together, keeping the tension and the work in the outer hip and outer thigh. With, these with this musculature woken up, you'll be able to kind of sit deeper into that squat and able to use abduction to power your way out of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this valuable. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be going through the comments periodically and answering questions and interacting with you guys as much as we can. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.